came down here because I lost my driver's license and I don't have a wife and children. And it was freezing cold in Maine. And I says, I want to go where it's warm. I got arrested 68 times already, though. <laughs> You know, you look comfortable. You got a great tan, dude. Well, thank you. I've been down here 12 years. <laughs> you, know, you look like you're an Avon rep. <laughs> My name's Robert Dyer. Robert Dyer. Scott, Emily, it was very nice to oh, meet you. Oh, very cool, dude. Thank you so much. So, I caught wind today that there's a little bit of confusion as to whether or not we should wear a mask. I say we should. CDC suggests that we should, and I figured if we're gonna do it, might as well make them look cool. So, uh, I'm gonna decorate mine, disco style. This together now, manufacture this fate. Alright, so in no way do I want you to think that this is an arts and crafts show. I mean, I just decided I had some disco ball stuff in my house because I'm a, a huge lover of disco, so I always have extra disco mirrors with me. Just in case one of my uh, many disco balls uh, misses one of its pieces. So, I decided why not take a mask that Sushi made and disco it up a little bit. Bada bing, bada boom. Now this is incredibly dangerous, I'm sure, since it's all glass pieces and if I fall on my face, it will shatter and it will uh, get lodged in my face. But I'm just gonna do it today because, hey, why not? So here's my little piece. Sushi, what do you think, dude? I'm digging it. I'm gonna have to figure out how I can make it uh, a little bit more secure. Wow, this is actually pretty fun looking. Making a face mask look fun because it is fun and it's just what we gotta do right now, so whatever, might as well enjoy it. So yeah, I mean, do as you wish, but I'm wearing a face mask. CDC says so, I'm giving it a shot. Have fun with it. Be safe, have fun, and I look forward to seeing you out with your face mask. Bing, bing. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? As you can see by my new haircut, um, I got some pretty good sized ears. And with that comes some pretty serious ear fatigue uh, after wearing these all day. So I came up with an idea that Emily suggested. What I had decided to do is just take a piece of wire, but you can do this with like a paper clip or whatever. But instead of having these um, bands wrap around your ear, just wrap them around your back of your head. So we do this. Bada bang, and I'm just gonna bring this headpiece back. Oh, voila, way better. And it's got a nice, uh, nice feature in the back. Boom, no more ear fatigue. Look at that, got my disco ball, got my green wire, I'm ready to go. Stay safe, have fun, and let's see that mask of yours. Don't be afraid to wear it, it looks pretty cool. Crush that curve!